Felipe Albuquerque, a year ago we were talking about this amazing finish. Wasn't as amazing as you had wanted. Tell me about correcting history, coming away with this 2018 Rolex 24 win, brother. Yeah, uh, yeah. One year ago, exactly, I was here devastated about it. But, uh, you know, it was not easy, you know, having friends that uh, they like me and like, hey, you open the door and some other guy is like, nah, the other guy was optimistic. <laughs> Doesn't matter. You just didn't got the Rolex, right? So and so it was tough over the year and especially coming over here with again with a great team, same same package again and the level higher and uh, knowing that uh, we could be in that same situation again. Um, and we were leading for a long time and finally get the win was so overwhelming, so nice. Um, even okay, we had a problem in the engine which it, it, it looked maybe from the outside kind of easy. But Tell us a little bit about that. You were dealing with overheating or getting close to overheating for quite some time. And I know the team did everything you could to try and resolve that. But tell us any idea where, why that came in. And then how do you manage that for hours on end and still end up with a win? I don't know why that came in, to be honest, uh, because we we were pushing hard, but not over curbs or whatsoever. I don't know why, because both car had a problem. Yeah. Uh, the Cadillacs in the Mustang sampling and the Whelan. Um, so when I entered the car after João and uh, he was backing off already and part throttle. And uh, uh, so when I enter it, I just turn the page to the mechanic page, which I can see the water temperature, the oil temperature, the throttle, and everything how it's going on, and the oil that's pressure. That's a page drivers honestly pretty much never look at. So no, no, impressive. we never go there, we never go there. So I was just driving there with one eye down and seeing the bar going up over like green and then going many times on the bank and going 230, 240, and, like that's back stressful. off. That's stressful, that has to be stressful. It was, and and it was for six hours, and uh, I entered with three hours, and it was leaving, uh, left, and okay, let's do this and backing off but no okay we had a good margin which was three laps but the question was you pushing up too much then you overheat the engine and maybe it dies on you yeah. if you don't push them much it, enough then the guys will catch on you and they maybe pass you so it was a balance you're screwed there. almost I yeah mean, there's exactly. no way to win so then the guys were telling me try map 12 try map 10 and everything was the same and uh and then what it was frightening me was like the second to last pit stop, the engine was not starting anymore because normally we were just already switching off the engine to don't overheat. And uh, wow. okay, go on. And the button was not going on. I was like jumping off because it was too hot. And then the last stop, okay, last stop and we are, we are out and that's it. And, uh, and the engine didn't start again. And then I went on emergency start on, which is like just goes whatever happens. Yeah. And it just jumped out, no go. Like they started to push, and luckily I pressed it again, and it just came alive. Like, okay, get out, get out here, and uh, and then I was, it was kind of funny laps because on the banking I was going up to 235, 240, and I'm blinking, hot engine too hot, and then backing off like hell, and then the GT passed me, and then give me more um, slipstream, and actually, by the way, and sorry for all the GT drivers that uh, may I screw some some laps of them. But I was on the survival mode, to be honest. And um, yeah, and then back off, come down to 210, push more gas, come up to 220. So it was for three hours looking to that page and, and managing and hopefully that would not die on me. So you, your friends and teammate, Joao Barbosa, Christian Fittipaldi, an awesome win for you guys. When I spoke with Renger van de Zende a couple days ago about him winning the pole on his day, full-time debut for Wayne Taylor Racing, I'm like, hey, some good job security. First full-time performance here in your, your full season gig for Action Express. You feeling okay? You think you added to that job security as well for you? Yeah, I mean, it makes me, you know, like, uh, yeah, you, you hired the right guy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, it's, uh, you know, in, in for some people, they like, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, uh, it was through some con contacts or whatsoever, but I've been with the team already for two years, and yeah. it was kind of logical. We know already each other. They know what to expect from me. Um, so it was just like a kind of natural merge, to be honest. I really wanted to do like a full time, and uh, they invite me in. And uh, obviously, especially after Dane left, and uh, was a spot there, and I didn't know what was thing was going on. And when they invited me over, and I was over helmet, like, fantastic. That's exactly what I want for my career. And... Um, that's it, and I was not expecting though to come over here and win the first race right away like this. <laughs>
let me close with one question that was definitely a concern for seemingly every other Cadillac in the race and just about every prototype. A lot of right rear tire failures. I think there might have been one across both of your cars. For the most part, you guys were really the, you were the exception. Yes, yes. I know that you guys double stinted a lot, yes. which, you know, Continental said they were recommending not to do so, but that didn't seem to be an issue for you. I'm not, a, I know you don't engineer, but any thoughts on why maybe you guys escaped a problem that really knocked out a lot of folks? True, that's true. Um, we, had, we didn't have a single problem with it. But I tell you what, I think everyone, sorry. <laughs> I think everyone was very excited with the, sp with the pace of everyone that everyone mm. was getting on. And a lot of guys were shaking the cars and stuff. I, I think that it's two things. Tire pressure, car setup, maybe more camber. Some guys put it on. I know that the wheel and uh, car, they tried to triple stint. In my opinion, was a bit too much. And then that was a tire failure. I don't know about the the, um, the Konica, Konica Minolta car. Um, but I know about our car and we were in control and we had zero problems and we never had to worry about it and it just came sweet and we, we took, care of, took care of the tires and I don't know if the other guys maybe went too hard or maybe just bad luck I don't know I can talk about for the other ones but we were fine so you don't know this at home because we don't have smell vision yet but <laughs> my boy here Felipe smells like champagne it's good which stuff. is the racer's dream at the end of a weekend <laughs> congratulations brother and i thanks have, a lot a as you guys know my predictions whenever i say who i think is going to win i'm always wrong for once in my life i picked you guys i think on thursday so once the one my one exception I actually got you guys right for the win, but I have a feeling you're not going to be, uh, this is going to be the only time you and I are talking this year. Congratulations. Thanks a lot, man.